Blessings so beautiful. First of all, I'd like to thank H.E. Desiree, Dr. Desiree Richardson for your vision. H.E. Dr. Desiree, face of Woha. I'd also like to thank the esteemed judges for your confidence and for selecting me to be one of the diversity leaders, the face of Woha lead diversity leader. I want you to know that I accept this position with humility and honor. I'm here because as a diversity leader, the message that I have for us is that as we go into 2022, the year of showing, sharing, and expressing what we love, let's go into 2020, 2022 in our totality and the truth of who and what we are. And what is that totality and true? So beautiful that is, we are human and divine. Yes, you are human and divine. Within you is the power, presence, and essence of the all, the divine. See, there is perfection within that imperfection. And it's okay. It's okay to embrace that the goddess within us is perfect. It's okay to caress the imperfections of our humanness as we decide if we want to maintain, if we want to keep those imperfections, or if we want to change them. It's okay. It's like, it's like a child. The behavior of a child, you may not like, you may not care for that, but you love that child in total. It's okay. You may not like some things about you that you'd like to change, but you love you total. See, when we embrace and accept that we are human and divine, then when we fear, because it's okay to fear, it is okay to fear so beautiful. Fear can be our protector, just like negative. Not all negative is bad. Some negative is our protector. And as we journey and and faced with fear, knowing that we are human and divine, we know that we do not face that fear alone. See, it is not the thing that we may fear. The message here is because we are human and divine, tap into that divinity and say, why do I fear that thing? to outgrow that thing. See, when we embrace that we are human and divine, organically, naturally, our considerations, or some may call them boundaries, may they will be automatically set because we are embracing that we are human and divine. Yes, there is some imperfection that may be not enough, but the divinity within us is enough. Yes, there may be some imperfection we may believe we're not deserving, the human, but the divinity of us, we are absolutely deserving, deserving of the best, the very best that you can possibly imagine. Yes, there may be an imperfection to say, ah, I got a little guilt here. That's okay, because there is the divinity in you that knows that you are sage wisdom and pure innocence. Yes, we are human and divine, and it's okay. It's okay to express the goddess within you. It's okay to love you, to know that you are your best company as we journey together. See, that's our gift for each other. That's our gift for each other. I am your mirror and you are mine. I am honored to be your sister and so very blessed that you are mine. See, we are one. There is one, one energy in this beautiful, beautiful essence of the universe. And we are connected with that energy. We are human just as we have the DNA of our mom and dad. We are divine. 
because we have the essence, the power, presence, and essence of the all, of the divine within us. And that that is a humbling thing. That is a beautiful thing. That is a grateful thing. When we embrace that we are human and divine, we are grateful. We are grateful for what is coming. And we are so very thankful for what we have because we are in partnership with the universe and we are in partnership with each other. And in camaraderie, solidarity, and unity. I stand with my so beautiful diversity leaders as we step into and journey 2022 together. Thank you so much for listening. I am Dr. Anita Caprice. We know that the journey in self-recovery is absolutely beautiful. And I know you know, I know you know my so beautiful sister. So are you. So we're going to elevate Touch on that trust. Tap into you. You are human and divine. Blessings, peace, and love.